welcome to Storytime with Sharon. Today we're going to read Madeline. This is a book that was written in 1939 by Ludwig Bemelmans, and um, it takes place at a convent school in Paris, France. I'm going to point out some of the Paris scenes that are illustrated here. Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. This is Place de la Concorde. This is the um, Concorde, or the Obelisk of Luxor. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. This is the opera. And here we, there's a gendarme, which is the policeman chasing a thief. That's the bad. And this is a public square called the Place Vendome. And that's the Vendome column. And sometimes they were very sad. That's the a soldier with a broken leg. This is in front of the Hotel des Invalides. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. Here we have Notre Dame. And this is the gardens at the Luxembourg. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. That's a church in the background, the church at the Sacre Coeur. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, pooh, pooh. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. Look at that. She is walking on top of that bridge. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed, Danton, 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Look, they're going by the Eiffel Tower again. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so 10 days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked, and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy in the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far, on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again, and the little girls left in the rain. 
They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. Oh, <laughs> and afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And the, the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. That's all there is. There isn't any more. There are more stories about Madeline. Madeline's Rescue, Madeline and the Bad Hat, Madeline and the Gypsies. And I think there's even a few more that aren't listed there. I hope you enjoyed that story. I plan to have a few more, um, so keep coming back.